I'm Madeline. And I'm Kate. And we're here to talk about this week's topic, marketing to millennials. Before we get started, here's a recap on what we do on the Marketing Mindset. If you've tuned in with us before, you know that each week, Agency Sparks presents advice on marketing topics ranging from telling a brand's story, to tips on email marketing, to building marketing personas, or to even planning your marketing budget. Speaking of which, we actually have a free marketing budget template available for download on our website, so check that out. So the topic, marketing to the millennials of the millennium. There are 8.3 million millennials in the United States. And in 2025, 75% of the workforce is going to be millennials. They also spend more than $200 billion annually, so it's important to know how to talk to them. The millennial market is massive. It's confusing, it's powerful, and it's a generation that marketers must understand. Who are the millennials? Well, Kate and I just make up two of them, but millennials, or Generation Y, are the generation immediately following Generation X. Generally speaking, we're born early 1980s to late 1990s, children of the baby boomers, or sometimes called echo boomers. The youngest of our generation are now legally adults. How's that for a shock? Like any generation, millennials have general overarching commonalities, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But it's important to remember that every generation is nuanced, and marketers cannot take a one-size-fits-all approach to millennials, unless they want to end up like that Pepsi ad with Kendall Jenner. Yikes. <laughs> if you haven't seen that disaster, we'll post a link to it in the comments. So uh, what do millennials care about, Kate? It's safe to say that millennials have an innate need to achieve a higher purpose than themselves. They have a different definition of success and achievement than previous generations, Millennials seek meaning in their lives and choose to support brands or companies that share the same concerns and responsibility for the world. So their brand loyalty lies in companies that offer solutions to ethical, social, or environmental issues. Millennials also care about the experience. The value of a memorable moment outweighs buying or owning material objects. Why do you think Uber or Airbnb are so popular? Users get the benefit of a car or a house without the extra fees or responsibilities. Marketing is now all about the type of experience that can be offered to consumers as opposed to the product itself. Millennials also value community and teamwork. Even though millennials invented the selfie, that narcissism does not extend into the way they approach community and teams. Kate, can we actually, can we take a selfie? Sure. Okay. Of course. Sorry. That's great. Anyway. Good. Opposite to the baby boomers and Generation X, who grew up focusing on the individual rather than the group, millennials are very team-oriented. <laughs> Access to technology and social media has allowed millennials to connect better than ever before. Hashtag culture has shifted the tribe mentality that was once based on proximity towards a more interest-based focus. So let's get a recap of what millennials care about. They care about finding a higher purpose, the experience, and community and teamwork. So, how can marketers reach millennials? First, know the why behind the business. Since millennials are all, are all about meaning and purpose, know what your brand stands for and communicate that in your advertising. Millennial consumers want brands who are self-aware and have clearly defined objectives and values. Simon Sinek actually has a very motivating TED talk about communicating the story of your brand as well as leadership from the inside out. Describe why the organization exists. Start with the why, then the how, then the what. And we'll post a link to this as well. So number two, be purely authentic. Millennials appreciate transparency and authenticity. Brands have a lot of success on social media when they post behind the scenes content or videos showcasing the company culture using a conversational brand voice. And that doesn't mean that you need to be overly casual, like what up dog, especially if that doesn't fit your brand style. The point is, is to just be human. Number three, collaborate. Be empathetic and listen to millennials. Listen to their wants, and you can do this through focus groups or surveys and use those results to impact your marketing strategy. Also involve millennials in your product's creation. This guarantees buyers, it locks down a target market, and since you're fueling self-expression, it builds a consumer brand relationship. Utilizing user-generated content, Instagram or Snapchat, 
as methods to strengthen your, your consumer brand relationship could lead to an increase in millennial purchases. Doritos does an excellent job at co collaborating with their consumers. They used to hold a competition where fans would make a commercial for the Super Bowl and the winner's commercial would be shown during the Super Bowl. It gave a reason for the consumers to care about the product. So number four, optimize your digital advertising. Millennials relax by multitasking, so it's best to reach them through multiple social media platforms and channels. But this does not mean that you should bombard them with useless ads. Organically placing content into their feeds that benefits or educates them is much more effective. You're supposed to give millennials a reason to spread, share, or forward your content. So inbound marketing such as ebooks, white papers, videos, or blog posts are preferred and trusted amongst the millennial generation. Why do you think blogs or videos are so successful? Because millennials trust the individual and the content is relatable and educational, making us want to share it. Mumbo number five, monitor and address reviews. Think about Amazon, Yelp, or Rotten Tomato reviews. Most of the time, you don't make a purchase if a review is bad. Millennials have grown up with access to influencers and reviews like these. We trust and look into user-generated content, word of mouth, or reviews before committing to a purchase. And I can personally speak from my own experience that reviews and ratings really matter. In fact, when I'm shopping on Amazon, I filter my products by the average customer rating. So, number six, personalize, personalize, personalize. Just because there are overarching commonalities amongst millennials does not mean that marketers should treat them as a homogeneous group. Research and define the types of personas in your target audience to gain an understanding of each persona's beliefs, motivators, and how they experience and relate your brand. Um, unlike previous generations, millennials do not get as freaked out by the highly targeted advertising. So therefore, reaching millennials requires creative and individualized content that adds to their overall experience. And the experience is what millennials care about. So let's get a recap on how to reach millennials. Number one, know the why behind your brand. Number two, be authentic. Three, collaborate. Number four, optimize your digital advertising. Five, monitor and address those reviews. And number six, personalize. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Marketing Mindset. If there's anything we missed or any topics you think we should cover, please feel free to comment. To check out previous videos, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash agency sparks or our page, agencysparks.com slash marketing mindset. To read the blog that inspired this video, check out agencysparks.com slash blog archives. Thank you so much and have a great day.